Morning, welcome to We Repair. Uh, so today I am back to my Xbox Crystal for uh, mod number two. So next thing we're going to do is get these LEDs changed on the front of this Xbox. So I've already disassembled it. If you want to look at my teardown video, that will show you how to do a proper teardown and get to all these components. Um, it's already had a full clean all the way through, so it's lovely and tidy at the minute. So first thing we're going to do is disconnect this cable here. So let me just show you that as best I can. So it's this yellow ribbon here that goes through the hole to the front. Next thing we're going to do is get this front panel detached. Now this, this one couldn't be easier really. Uh, so what we're going to do in the side here, we're literally just going to lever it and it will come. There's a couple of clips down the side. So let's just get that in there. And there we go. Sounds horrible, but it will go. Do the same on the other side, which you can't quite see. Let's just, in fact, I'll turn this around so you can't see. So again, straight in here. And we're going to lever this forward. Like that. And then the whole front panel drop away. There we go. So we don't need this Xbox now. And then to get this panel out, just at the bottom here, there's a catch. So let's just do that. So just push this catch down, the bottom will pop out, and it will just pull towards you, just like that. So let's put this flat and zoom you in a bit so you can see it. Right. So what we're interested in is our two LEDs. Um, so in LED terms, we want to do this one here and this one here. Um, they're not too bad to do. We need to desolder these. Um, this is a little bit of a fiddly job, so uh, please bear with me. So first thing we're going to do is get some heat on this and uh, get those this desoldered. And I'm wondering if I can get in there with a hot air gun, if that's going to make it easier or not. Let's have a go without, and uh, we'll go from there. Let me just get the soldering iron all wired up, and then I'll come straight back to you. Right, and we're back. So, soldering iron's now hot. Let's get some flux on here. tidy we are back so let's just have a talk to you about this board quickly just so you know what you're doing so previously we've got a positive a shared negative and a positive so the top little hole up there would have been your green um, that's a shared sorry that is a, a, a positive one the middle one is a shared uh, negative and the bottom one would have been your yellow and amber um, so on this side, it's much the same, but it's at the bottom one is your would have been your green, little one shared, top one would have been your secondary color. So what we're going to do, take our LEDs. So this is our my new color, which is blue. The longer leg, which is our positive, is going to go through the top hole, and the shorter leg, which is our negative, is going to go through the middle hole. Now you may notice that the hole is not going to be big enough for both of our LEDs. Now we have to do a bit of a workaround for that. So I will show you how to get over that. It's not the most complicated thing in the world, it's just a bit of a fiddle. So we've got our blue. I've got our secondary color, which is gonna be a red. So I'm just grab that in my little bag. So here's my secondary. So again, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bend our, we need to leave enough room really for this to fold over like I've done the other one. So just beyond the join here, I'm going to bend this leg. And 
going to keep that red one straight so it looks much like that. In fact, I just bent that the wrong way. Let's just re-bend that. And there we go. And keep this red one straight. So what we're going to do, we're going to thread it through the bottom hole. Now bend the LED down so it's about the same as the other one. And this other leg, we're going to bend round the back of the board. So coming to round the back of the board, I'm going to bring this in line with this other negative leg from the other LED and we're going to twist them together. Now we are going to solder this in so don't stress too much, just so it stays neat. And then we'll bend that other one flat. So we've now got two positives on either side, negative in the middle, twisted with the other and our two LEDs in position. So with the other side, again much the same. So longer leg first through the positive hole, shorter leg through the other hole, bend it flat, bend it round. Now this one's a bit more of a fiddle because you've obviously got this connection in the way. So what we're going to have to do is solder it on this side of the board. So again, we will bend it flat. Hopefully I've bent this the right way. No, I haven't bent this the right way. God, what is wrong with me this morning? You tell us it's a Sunday morning, can't you? Well, it is at the time of filming anyway. Uh, so we'll then put that like that. And then we're going to put this flat. So what we're going to have is our two negative legs touching each other on this side. And in a minute, we're going to solder them together. And then we will snip off the excess. But actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this back out because I'm going to re-bend that leg. I'm not happy with it. There we go. Just want to make sure those are touching as best you can. So you've got to be able to solder them, don't forget. Like that. There you go. So that's our two LEDs in place. And again, on the underside, I bent them over so that we can solder them down. So yeah, that's all in. Right, so what we'll do, bring our helping hands back, get this all clipped on like this. Really got to remove that magnifying glass because it gets right in the way. Right. Again, I'll try and show you this as best I can, but it is not the easiest of jobs. Right, cool. So that's that done. I'm just going to clean up this little bit of flux on this end. Just so that we're nice and tidy. Just get some IPA. Space tidy. Right, so first thing we're going to do is grab our front. That. And what we want to do is line these buttons up now. So we'll hook the top in first, like that, and then we are going to persuade it down. So a couple of days on since we did our soldering because I ran out of time that evening to finish off. Uh, so I'm back to where I was. I've got the Xbox now wired up um, on the desk. 
hard drives out because there's something else I'll be doing with that shortly. So this is our front panel with the piece installed. I popped some electrical, sorry, some kept and tape over the back here just so that the metal doesn't touch the metal frame of the Xbox um, because the solder joints do come out a little bit now so they will touch the framework so I'll just pop some tape over there so we don't get any electrical contact or any shorts. So what we'll do is we'll pop this back through this hole and just clip this in so line up on one end that's clipped in and then push and it should clip in the other end like that. So that's all clipped in now. Plug this cable back in which just pops back down. If you look at my Xbox teardown video it will show you how to plug in and unplug that. And now we'll just, we've got the power on already, which I shouldn't really done, but there we are. And great, well from my angle, this is all working absolutely fine. So let me take you off the tripod and then I can show you it working as well. Right, so uh, you're back off my tripod now, I've got you on my hand. Uh, so if we press this power button, there we go. So we've got our two new blue LEDs as our main indicator light, as our main on lights, and then our red ones as our indicator lights. So I'll turn it back off again. And back on. So we'll absolutely fine. So what I'll do is I'll just flick the lights down so that you can see it glowing as well. So let's just quickly do that. Let's just turn my camera light off. There we go. So let's press this button. And there we are. So we've got our ports glowing away that we did in our previous modification. We've got our little LEDs that we've soldered in over the front modifying. You can also see down here Nice bit of glow coming through the underside of the Xbox. So yeah, that's it. So we've done our solder mod. So we've got our LEDs in, a few more in there, which looks cool. I might mod the top of the case as well, just for completeness. We'll see how we go. Um, but this is looking really good so far. Anyway, if you've liked the video, please drop us a like, leave us a comment. Um, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel please press the bell icon so you get our notifications of anything new coming out. And again, if there's anything you want us to see or want us to do with this Xbox, then drop me a comment and I will do my best to try and do that. I do actively respond to them as much as I can. Um, but otherwise, I shall see you in the next video and thanks for watching.